It may not be the type of literature you'd expect from an octogenarian, but then most women in their 80s can't claim Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra as lovers. Still, Gloria Vanderbilt's erotic novel Obsession is causing a stir, and though fiction, it provides some insight into her own romantic life. Sharon Alfonsi now with Gloria Vanderbilt in the Nightline interview. Introducing canvas jeans that were built for your figure. Vanderbilt for your figure. She is perhaps best known for those iconic jeans bearing her name. With one of my terrific blouses, it's a million dollar look. Gloria Vanderbilt, fashion designer, railroad heiress, artist, actress, and socialite. And today, at 85 years old, Vanderbilt is still adding to her resume, publishing an erotic novel called Obsession. Did you set out to make it an erotic novel? No, it just kind of fell on the page that way. The novel, On Stands Now, is, to put it mildly, racy. Cavalierly ordering me to apply my milk of honey lotion to her body. I'll bend forward over a chair, rest my arms on the seat cushion as your hand slaps my... Well, you get the idea. I really think that's awesome. Tell me why. Why? Because I hope I'm giving like her when I'm 85. <laughs> <laughs> I think at 85, if she wants to write that, God bless her. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. How are you? Nice to meet you. But at a recent book signing on Manhattan's Tony Upper East Side... Stunned. <laughs> Absolutely stunned. The book left readers gasping. It's very erotic, this book. I have discovered for the first three pages, <laughs> but I don't expect anything else from Madame Gloria. Each of you will interpret obsession in a different way. As for myself, I'm still looking into it. <laughs> Vanderbilt also seems to take delight in the book's blush-inducing passages. She lent her voice to the audio recording. When he returned home after a trip, greeted me at the door, and all was demanded to make love instantly. Other scenes involve whips and chains, even spankings with a hairbrush. It wasn't just any hairbrush. It was the Mason Pearson <laughs> That's a $150 hairbrush. Could you believe the author was an 85-year-old woman? Well, uh, this particular 85-year-old woman, perhaps. After all, she has no shortage of material to draw from. Gloria Vanderbilt is the only child of railroad titan Reginald Vanderbilt. She became the heir to his fortune when he died from alcohol poisoning. Gloria was just 18 months old. Her father's death set off one of the most scandalous custody trials of the time, depicted in the TV film Little Gloria Happy at Last. Do you remember being told that your child said, I will not go, I am afraid of my mother? Yes, I remember. What are you trying to do, break my heart? Her mother was accused of having a female lover and deemed an unfit parent. So young Gloria was raised by her icy Aunt Gertrude. At 17, Gloria went to Hollywood and married power agent Pat DeSico, divorcing four years later and marrying conductor Leopold Stokowski a man nearly 40 years her senior. Leopold told me that he would never give me a divorce, ever. And I felt paralyzed, and Sinatra came along, and wild horses couldn't have stopped me. <laughs> Off I went. Later, she dated Errol Flynn and Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, of course, was the man of the moment and such a great actor and so handsome and so mysterious and really so boring. You know, but he was Boring. so big. Yeah, you know, he really, uh, he projected such inner turmoil or sensitivity, and I don't really think he was that sensitive. In fact, she says Brando kept a framed picture of himself next to the bed. She would marry a third time to director Sidney Lumet and a fourth time to author Wyatt Cooper, the man she calls her soulmate. We would be married today were he still alive. The couple had two sons, Anderson and Carter. But in 1988, a then 23-year-old Carter committed suicide, jumping out of the family's 14th floor apartment as Gloria watched, trying desperately to stop him. Carter, had he lived, would have possibly been president today. He had a, a you know, the Fitzgerald thing, a, a, a romantic readiness. And um, 
Whether he would have been tough enough for politics or not, I don't know. Welcome back. We're live from Karachi, Pakistan. Uh, Anderson would go on Minister to become a popular Minister CNN Minister news Minister. anchor. Ever the proud mother, her art studio is filled with tapes of his broadcasts, begging the question, what does he think of his mother's latest racy novel? Does he ever say mom enough? No, 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 <laughs> no. no, no. He's, he's always very, very, uh, very supportive. But her friends weren't quite so sure of this latest endeavor. I did have two, two friends who were very waspy, who are even more waspy than I am, because I don't consider myself waspy, but anyway, <laughs> they are. And uh, they were really concerned, and they said, this book is going to you know, ruin your reputation. So I restrained myself from saying, oh, goody. And that is Gloria Vanderbilt in a nutshell, approaching 90 fearlessly in a style Strange. that is still kind of uniquely <laughs> her own. For Nightline, I'm Sharon Alfonsi in New York.